What's up you guys? Welcome back to Team APS. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We are taking a Yu-Gi-Oh quiz sent in by a fan. So it's basically going to be a game and here's how it works. This fan has sent in 15 Yu-Gi-Oh questions that Victor, who's behind the camera that you can't see, will be reading out to us. And we have to answer them all from memory. But if we both agree that we don't know the answer, then we are given the multiple choice where we should surely figure it out. Yeah, so we get a point right? if we get it right, and at the end, we'll see who wins. We actually have no clue what these questions are about. They could be about the card game, they could be about the anime. It should be fun. Even tournament results. Yeah, well actually, I'll try to link them in the description if you guys want to play along with us. And shout outs to Filling the Void, that's uh, who submitted these questions. Here it goes. Question one. Considered a Tim's most recognizable rival, which of these characters owns three blue eyes white dragons? Okay, well that's that, easy. That's yeah. This isn't okay. a race, right? Like, we don't, no, I mean, we don't have to answer it fast. Who submits? But... Okay, cool. That... It would be weird not to get this. I feel like this is just to warm us up. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ready? Um, I'm ready on three. One, two, three. Seto Kaiba? Yeah, that's Kaiba. Yeah, Seto Kaiba. That's easy. Might work. Hopefully this gets harder than this. They wouldn't have given us a quiz of easy questions. I mean, it would be kind of interesting, though, if it was, like, literally goes from, like, yeah, what's Seto Kaiba or whatever, and then we have to actually start, like, reciting the flavor text of Blue Eyes, White Only Dragon. you can do that. No, I can't actually do oh, that. Oh, thank God. Question two. What color is the monster Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, number two? Oh. Number two. Number, okay. All right, I'm with that. Well, wait, there's two Winged Dragons, though. Y yeah, but... Only one of them has ever mattered. I know that, well, the thing is, I know that they are both different colors, and I'm trying to actually remember which one number two is. I think number two is probably the one we use the, oh, wait a minute. Do, do you remember what the other one is? I thought, oh, that's crazy. Because there's two, and they have different stats. Yeah, different stats. And they have different, um, I and had they have a different way... colors. So there and was... I know what the two colors are. I just, now it just comes down to it's like a, which. I don't want this to be a 50-50. I'm trying to remember. I used to have a way of distinguishing which one came first. You know what sucks about this? Even if we asked for multiple choice, it wouldn't help. It wouldn't help. It wouldn't there's help. Only two, there's only because two there's choices. There's only two. I th okay. All right. All right. I'll look, man. It is what it is, right? I think that I've got it. I, or I'm going to just go with like right. the basic guess. Uh, I, I made my choice. On three? Let's go. One, two, three. I put blue. I put red. One of you is correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I knew it was blue or red. Like, okay, what like, is it? Which one? It's red. Yes! Oh my gosh. See, that's what I knew. I was like, I know that there's a red one and a blue one. I also, I know that the red one is the weaker one. Yeah, the red one's the weaker one. Yeah. But I wasn't sure if this was one of situations where we got the two before the one in the card game, because that has happened. Question three. The Yu-Gi-Oh! manga had a 2004 to 2007 spinoff written by Ito Akira. What was the name of the spinoff? Oh, oh okay. okay. I, this right. is actually that's kind easy. of obscure. That one's easy. I know this because you talk about this all the time. I do. A very popular meme card came from this. Yeah, I don't know what the meme card is, but I do know what the answer is, I'm pretty sure. Okay, on three? Yep. One, two, three. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! R. Correct. Woo! The meme card is the Wicked Avatar. Oh, I thought that was like a GX thing. Nope. The uh, the Wicked Gods are from the R manga. Okay, it's Wicked, Avatar, Dreadroot, and Eraser. Oh, yep. and Eraser, okay. Wicked Avatar is the ball, right? Yes. The ball that always can, gains like, 100 it, attack more mm -hmm. than... Yeah. Always the biggest monster on the field. Oh man, I'm doing well. I feel good. Mm. I mean, I'm doing almost as well. Yeah, but you're down, so you're doing bad. Okay. You were saying before this game that you thought I would like have this easy in the bag, but... Well, now, now you're trash. I'm I didn't excited. know what kind of quiz it would be. Like, I wasn't sure if it was going to be TCG. This is like a Yu-Gi-Oh! history sort of quiz. Question four. What type does the monster Zone Eater have? <laughs> Type? It's type? Okay. Um, oh, goodness. I don't even remember what Zone Eater is. Because I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a card called Trap Eater. Yeah. Which I think is... Trap Eater, I remember. Which is like a, a level four, like, fiend or something. Zone Eater. I don't... I'm not even sure if I remember Zone Eater. It's like an old card with a really bad effect, I think. But like, I feel like I know that it's type. Oh my gosh. Uh, I was gonna put that oh, you don't want to go multiple choice on this? What? And waste it? I get, wait, do we, can, are there a limited amount of times? No, we can just go multiple. multiple. We just have to both agree to. So, I mean, if you feel confident in your answer, then maybe you should just Let's not. go multiple. Let's okay, go multiple. let's go multiple choice. Give I, us the choices. I don't. Zone eater. Is it aqua, insect, sea serpent, or worm? I'm pretty, there's one that I, I'm pretty sure it's definitely not. 
I'm glad we did multiple choice because my did. type was not right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's this one. I really hope I'm, gonna, I'm right about this. All right, I'm just gonna write mine in. Because I really, okay. All right. Are you, are you ready? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Out I said aqua. Worm. One of you is correct. Paul, you are correct. It is aqua, okay. How do you think it was worm? It's like an old card. I don't know. I didn't know what this was. Well, I Worm thought, is new. I thought Zone Eater might have been like secretly a new card and we were both wrong. Okay. That was question, what, All four? Right. Yeah, it was four. That was four? All right. Okay. Look, but I I gave you that so we could tie it up again so it could be competitive. Oh, yeah, because I think we're three and three. Okay, cool. Yeah, I I mean, I don't even know how I got that right. Okay. <laughs> like, I, like, I just knew I had one to give, so. Okay, cool. Question five. Which of these monsters were not included in the 1999 OCG set volume one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll list them for you. Dark Magician, Silver Fang, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Mammoth Graveyard. Okay, I do know some trivia about this that could like, I mean, we can't even really go multiple choice on this either. It's just- it's, Yeah, this, it's is, this one one's the, too tough to okay. do multiple choice. So basically, I know that OCG set volume one was like a small set that got combined with, I think, their mm -hmm. volume two to make Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon for us. That was like our first so set. So essentially, the, all these cards would have had to have been in Legend of Blue Eyes, and I think all of these were for us? Yeah, well, for us, it, yeah, these would all be in Legend of Blue Eyes, so you didn't really know your like. That's OCG lore? Your OCG lore. Like, which, I, I have mean, a feeling I know it, but I'm not sure. I'm not I, sure. I mean, it's, I've got it down to basically like, hi my screen. <laughs> I basically have it down to like two. I had it down to two. I made my choice. I'm, I okay. I I know which one I'm going with. Two, three, two, one. I picked blue. Silver eyes. Fang. One of you is correct. <laughs> oh, that's, that's always scary <laughs> here. Paul. You are incorrect. So we I did it was, again. So blue eyes was not in. Blue the eyes was set. not okay. in it. Wow. I, and you know why I had a feeling about this? Because I recently read a bunch about the historic OCG format. Why? And how, because <laughs> we do weird videos, Paul. Okay. And I, I remember reading that when the Blue Eyes came out, it changed their metagame. But if it was out oh, at the start, it could have changed it. It also kind of makes you think about how, I remember when we were doing like the Rare Hunters series, like you realize that like LLB is like a weird feeling set because certain cards are just statistically like better than other cards mm -hmm. in the set. Like it's weird because like Giant Soldier of Stone is like 1300 attack and 2000 defense. And then you have like these random level threes and fours that have like 500 attack and like 400 defense. And it's like, it's why would like... I ever play the rest of these cards? <sighs> okay, well. Question six. Moray of Greed is a pot spell card that shuffles which attribute of monsters from your hand to your deck, followed by drawing three cards. I don't know, Paul. I... I think we need to take the multiple choice. I know what this is. Me too. I, 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 there's, no <laughs> way, I say, there's no way. This is an easy, easy peasy. Okay, ready? We said attribute, right? Yeah, it's attribute, okay, cool, right? Cool, cool, cool. It's making sure. All right, one, two, three, fire. No, it's water. water. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, All sweet. Right. Question seven. Many of the Yu-Gi-Oh! video games came with promo cards. One of these is Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel. The North American promo cards were Valkyrion the Magna Warrior, Sinister Serpent, and Witch Powerful Spell Card. I'm, ooh, I think I know this one. I, I have a guess. I, do, I think I know because I have it. I don't know. Um, I, I, all right, I'm gonna write this. It's probably wrong. Hope you don't get lucky and get it. Because like I actually am pretty confident on this answer. I I, I wish I, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I I have mine. I Ready? have it too. Three, two, one. Uh, Harpy's, Harpy's feather, feather duster. duster. Oh uh, my god! Yes. I didn't want you to get that right. <laughs> Because I actually, I have this edition of Harpy's Feather Duster. So real quick guys, I want to give a shout out to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. This weekend, they're going to be hosting WhatnotCon, 
which is a way for you guys to experience the fun of a convention like New York Comic Con, but from the comfort of your home using the Whatnot app, where you can auction for all kinds of really fun, interesting collectibles, Yu-Gi-Oh, trading cards, really anything. They're gonna have artists, celebrities, even people from studios like Marvel. And if you're interested in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll actually be auctioning off a bunch of really cool stuff like this giant Dark Magician figure, the Pot of Greed replica that we use in so many videos, plush rescue rabbits, and a few more secrets as well. So all you guys are gonna do is tune in to my live stream on Whatnot, April 13th at 12 p.m. Central Time, and use the link in the description to sign up for Whatnot. You'll even get $10 of credit to use. So again, thanks to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out WhatnotCon, and I'll see you guys this weekend. Question eight. In the Jesse Anderson versus Trapper duel, which normal monster dual spirit did Trapper threaten to kill? I don't even, I didn't watch Yo. this much GX. Okay, okay, okay. It was a normal monster dual spirit. I think that's Where the, you actually haven't, I don't, I didn't even watch GX this far. Like, I have a feeling that this, it's kind of a trick question. So you don't want to go multiple choice? No. Oh, jeez, okay. Because on the off chance, the, the multiple choice makes it easier, I'd rather us both get it wrong. Oh, you know what, no, geez. I have one to give. Give, give us multiple so you choice. Want to do multiple choice. Give us Thank multiple goodness. Choice. Okay, what is multiple choice? Is it Elemental Hero Sparkman, Jerry Beans Man, Moki Moki, or Angel Trumpeter? Oh, I got it wrong. That's crazy. Did you guess like either any of these at all? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Now this doesn't actually help me much because I did not watch and a lot of And that's against Trapper, right? Who is I don't, who is Trapper? Can you tell me that? I don't remember that well. Okay, well I I'm trying I've to, eliminated I've, one. I've watched a little bit of I've watched I've watched a decent amount of GX, but it's, it's been too long now. Okay, I know it's not this, because this is like a I don't think it's this. You'd be surprised the creatures that have been dual spirits in GX. I'm gonna yeah, warn you right now. Yeah, I know that there's like some monsters like Don Zalug and like random monsters are like just dual spirits in there. there and there's one on that list that, that was a dual spirit that I don't think many people rem will remember it was a dual spirit. Uh, but right, I'm just gonna mine. pick. I'm gonna pick the safe answer. It, yeah, I think we probably are picking the same. Like, if it's wrong, it's just wrong. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. I, I went Spark Man. I went Moki Moki. Oh, I like that pick. One of you is wrong. Why is it always one? Of us? And the other is also wrong. Oh. oh. It is Jerry Beans Man. Oh. Jerry Beans Man was actually a card in the anime. Dang man. I always thought Jerry Beans Man was a meme. It is a meme, but it was I mean, also, I know, but I didn't know it was a dual spirit. Ex, so that was um, the one that I remember was a dual spirit, but I had no idea why I remembered it. Okay. Like, Moki Moki was one too, but. Ah, no, man. So, and my head was in the right place. Because Sparkman was never a dual spirit. It was just like one of Jaden's. Jaden cards can I talk thought. to pretty much all of his monsters. Oh, well. Like, they are all spirits for him. But all right, we both didn't win, so. Uh, yeah, still I mean, ahead. I guess it's like, not up. so bad. Still up. Yeah. Question nine. On your turn, you activate the spell card Reasoning, and your opponent declares eight. Which one of these cards, if milled by this effect, can be legally summoned? Dark Magician of Chaos, Amaterasu, Rare Metal Dragon, Card Card D. Okay. Oh, you don't write them down when he says it? Mm -mm. Oh gosh, okay. So the issue I'm running into right now is I don't even remember what Amaterasu is. I know it's not. I know it's not this. I don't even remember what this monster is. I know it's not this. I wrote one. <laughs> okay, I think I think I know what it is. All right. All right. On three. Yes. One, two, three. I, I said Dark Magician of Chaos. Can you? Both wrong. Ah. It's Rare Metal Dragon. Rare Metal Dragon rare can metal be special dragon. summoned? Which one is Rare Metal Dragon? Isn't is it that the uh, the one from the movie? It was like a, a like a, a metal dragon looking thing? It's like level used by uh Kaiba. Oh Hold up, I'm looking this up. Rare Metal Dragon. Okay, it is I am so dumb. Wait, I'm so dumb because I should have known. No. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah, that's This what is I a rare metal was. dragon and just can't be normal summoner set. Oh, it can't be normal. Yeah, I thought it, it could be, be special summon. Yeah, no, I. So I'm, I'm so dumb because I like was thinking about the question wrong. 
Demok could be summoned by reasoning, but it's level eight. Yeah. So if they called eight, you just can't it summon it. To. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Question 10. In the Yu-Gi-Oh manga, what is the name of the tabletop RPG that Yugi and friends play against Bakura in their first battle together together? Ooh. Ooh. The very oh god. Tabletop game that they play. I'm I'm calling for multiple choice. Can we go multiple choice? choice? Yeah. Yeah. I Monster World, Monster Quest, Fantasy World, Fantasy Quest. This is wrong. I'm, I'm, mistake, I'm sticking by it. I'm staying on this one. I... Like, I, I remember I have reading a pretty the manga good but, idea. back then, but I don't remember the name. I'm pretty sure it's not these. Now it's down to two for me. Oh, Take the chance. Got nothing to lose. Okay. All right. I got an answer. All right. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. I, I said fantasy Monster World. World. Paul is correct. <sighs> yes. I knew it would be monster because it's like Yu-Gi-Oh is just monster. Like that's the kind of the thing. Like it's always like dual monster. I knew it or... was world and I was between monster and fantasy world. I was like, maybe they made a final, a final fantasy reference. <sighs> yeah. I was torn between monster world and monster quest. And I was just like, it. World kind of sounds like more of what Yu-Gi-Oh would go with, so. All right, that's fair, that's fair. All right, we're, we're okay. tied back Remember up again. Remember tied again? Question 11. Which of these monsters did not receive a Ghost Rare reprint in Ghost of the Past 1? Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ra Spear Mode, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, and Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Um, okay, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta really think about Ghost from the Past Did not receive a one. Ghost from the Past 1 reprint in Ghost Rare. Okay. Mm. I, oh my gosh. I think these have all gotten Ghost Rare printings, just in general. I do think you are correct. However, Victor, what do you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I... Uh, uh, I'm just gonna have to kind of throw caution. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna yeah, make a pick here. Because, I mean, I think... I think these all like got ghost rare printings. I just I Okay, I don't think it's this. I I know this got something. I know this got something. We're going with you. Okay. All right. One, two, three. I put Soldier of Chaos. I put Sphere Mode. Soldier of Chaos. Oh. Paul is correct. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Why did you do that, you monster? I totally guess, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I mean, so here's where, here's why I kind of felt okay about it. I remember seeing a lot of Ghost Fairy Sphere Modes in people's binders, like, around that time, and I remember, like, it just felt like that happened sooner than BLS. That's all I know. And I know Crystal Wing, Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon was the Ghost Fairy from- High Speed Riders. Not High Speed Riders, but, um, not high speed. What's it called? Something a similar name. Yeah, the legendary wind duelist set. like win. The wind thing. Set, and yeah. then um, and you and then like, Ra itself got a ghost rare and legendary right. duelist rage of Ra. Rage of Ra. So, yeah. Dang, I think man. BLS got a ghost rare, but it was like in, in Ghost from the Past Two maybe or something. And like see, that. but that's like well, then but the question was which one didn't get one in Ghost in from Ghost from the Past, past one. one? Yeah. So. So like that, and I was like, ah, oh well. Question twelve: How many defense points does Nibiru, the primal being, have? Oh, I know this. I actually am not sure. I, I really don't know. I, yeah, I, I know this one. This one. I haven't paid enough attention. I've played so much Master Duel. This one's just like a. All right, let's go. All right, one, two, three. I put three. Six hundred. Oh wow. Paul is correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's three thousand attack, six hundred defense. Don't know what the six hundred defense is like about, but I had no clue what the defense was. Absolutely none. All right, now I'm okay. moving on. Yeah, that's uh. I mean, that one's like not too hard, but. Ugh. I mean, it was hard enough. It, it just depends on like how much, how addicted you are to you. I don't, I don't, I don't really play Nibiru, so. You still have like, what three questions left, so you could theoretically like pass me. Yeah, I mean, get them you all right, you'd have to get, get all of them wrong. wrong. That might happen. That's the harder part. If you ask these manga questions, I mean. <laughs> Question thirteen, in the Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh no! In the Yu-Gi-Oh manga. Well. <laughs> Here's your, here's your comeback. That's if I get it right. <laughs> Which of the following was the original name used for dual monsters for its first appearance? Magic and Wizards, Wizards and Warriors, Monsters and Wizards, Monsters and Magic. Now look, you, I know what you said earlier, Paul. You better stick to that. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain I know this one. I think I know this one. Okay. I'm ready. All right. 
Three, Three two, two, one. one. I said magic, magic and, wizards. and wizards. You were both correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Because I was gonna say like I, I was actually about to put like, uh, Matt. Never mind. I'm just glad I got it right. I was hoping you to put something monster related. Yeah, because I mean, like, I, I remember it's like wizards and something. I knew wizards and something. That's all. That's it was because uh, magic and wizards being a, re a reference to Magic the Gathering made by Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, yeah. I remember that's some Kazuki Takahashi trivia. Question number 14. If you have the cards Time Gazer Magician and Performer Pal Drummerilla in your pendulum zones, what level monsters can you pendulum summon from your hand? I don't know any of this. <laughs> I don't even remember, like, I think I know, like, there's, there's Time Gazer and there's Stargazer. See, but I have a, I, can't, I have a strong feeling I know this, just because I've I, played a lot of Performer Pals. I think this is a trick question, but I can't say why. I'll go multiple choice if you want. No. No? Mm -mm. Okay. I, I, got, I, I have to maximize my chances of you getting this wrong. I don't even know what performer called Drummerilla is. I, I know so. both cards. The problem is I don't necessarily remember Drummerilla's scale. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, okay, I've got an answer. All right, three, three two, two, one. one. I put none. I put five. The answer is three to seven. Oh, Drummerilla uh, has a scale of of I two. I don't even know what, like, the answer. Drummerilla scale was two? Wow. Hold on, I gotta look. Okay. What is it? Okay, let me see. Like, what is Drummerilla? Drummerilla, Drummerilla is, he's, I mean, he's not a pal. The, uh, the, mo the most important part is that Time Gazer uh, changes its scale if it doesn't have a... Um, Another magician beside it, I thought, right? Or, as I'm just realizing, Performer Pal. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, Drummerilla is a two. That's true, so three... Or is that you just can't play it unless you have a... And then Time Gazer Magician... What was its effect? Does it change its scale or you can't play it? It's, um, unless you have a Magician or Odd Eyes card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can't activate. this card's Pendulum Scale becomes four. Oh, a scale becomes... So wait. Wait, then... So unless and what's you... Drummerilla's scale? Drummerilla's two, so I feel like it'd just be three. It'd, yeah, then it'd be three. Wait a second. Hold up. Are we tripping? We might have a. I mean, we're wrong regardless. We're wrong, but the quiz but I think is wrong. They're also wrong. So we should get so, points. I mean, it doesn't matter. We both get points. So. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll just chalk it up to. Um, yeah, they up. got it wrong, but we also That's got it the wrong. Because I mean, like it. Or no, I'm, we're so dumb. We probably probably miss something. Someone in the comments is gonna be like, "Oh, well, actually," and they'll be right. Who knows? Oh, that sucks. I mean, it's not like we got it me right. To so. my fate. Well, don't speak so soon, because gentlemen, it is time for the grand finale. Question 15. The score is 7 to 9. Mm -hmm. Paul, since you have such a lead, uh, if you get this one wrong, you will lose points. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's make believe. It is your turn. You have Small World and Dark Magician in your hand. Oh, Jesus. You search your deck and reveal Block Dragon. What one of these monsters can you then add from your deck to your hand? Is it Ancient Gear Golem, Go 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 Golem, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, or Artifact Scythe? This is a freaking. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I give up. I uh, never bothered learning Small World's effect because I was like, this card is too annoying for me to want to learn, so I'm just not. And I'm so mad that it came up on this quiz. <laughs> I literally don't know how Small World. You don't know works. Your Small World lines? No, no, uh, no one should have to. <laughs> like, uh. Uh, I know how Small World works, sort of. I just don't know what the resemblance of Block Dragon is to Dark Magician because that dictates what other thing you have to go on for this. I was gonna write some. I'm just gonna guess. Okay, well, I have a guess. All right, I wrote something. Three, one, two, two three. One. Go, Ancient go, go, Gear Golem. Golem. Nobody is right. Oh, okay. Uh, 
It is Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Okay. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, because like, I know like Small World, I don't even remember offhand, but it's like you reveal like a monster and you banish a card that's got one of the same like attribute level attack or defense or something as it. And then from your deck, you search a card that's got one of the same things of the thing that you then banish. So basically like it, it was Go Go Golem, I guess, because it's like rock or something and block dragons rock. I don't know, but I got it wrong. Fun quiz though. I lost. I win. I should never try and play play trivia <laughs> against Paul. Well, actually, for what it's worth, you were winning at the start. So, I was. Uh, it all fell apart. Yeah. Well, still, it was pretty fun. Um, I would like to do these again. Man, this is fun. You can play against Troy. Yeah. Oh God, Troy, you're a monster at this. Okay. Well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I win this particular round. Shout out to, what is his name? Filling the Void. Filling yeah, okay. the Void. It's Shout like out to Filling card. the Void. It sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, yeah. For making this quiz. If anybody else wants to make a quiz like this for us to take. Um, send it to the APS email. Yeah, send it to the APS email. I'll have it on screen. And yeah, cool. How many of these did you guys get right? Be honest. Yeah, don't cheat. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Guess that'll be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past turn. turn.